previously in War on the Sea, the Battle of Guadalcanal. With our forces having taken control of the Malaita Island on the 7th of August 1942, the Emperor Hirohito will be pleased to read the successful action reports that have seen His Majesty's forces take control of one of Operation Mo's critical islands and the destruction of a number of American ships. His Majesty's submarines and torpedo bomber air crews have brought honour to the Empire by succeeding against superior opposition. Within three days from the 7th to the 10th of August, our forces have sunk the battleship South Dakota, two Northampton class and one Pensacola class heavy cruisers, the light cruiser Cleveland and several merchant vessels for an estimated 110,000 tonnes all for the loss of one of our own submarines and 10 aircraft. These are only the first tentative steps in this engagement, but already they feel significant. The mighty American Navy does have a soft underbelly, and we will build great fleets of submarines to exploit this weakness. The following action takes place between 0400 hours on the 11th of August to 0930 on the 18th of August 1942. Hi everyone, welcome back around. It's just coming up to 20 past four on the 11th of August uh, and resupply has made it back uh, to the Shortland Islands. So let's um, deposit all cargo here, which should be the engineering and the fuel, etc. So if we then have a look at that, boop. Uh, it is. It's a hundred fuel and a hundred uh, engineering. We need another um, hundred each to get that into a level three port. Now, do we have any further back here? Nope. 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 Any back at home base? Yes, we do. Right. So let's get them back on course to home base. I'm picking up the rest of that, and we'll get that into a level three. Uh, port so we can get all these ships and subs replenished. At 11.04, a flight of zeros flying, well, cat basically, has spotted a group of ships, and that is an aircraft carrier. Uh, we've got an aircraft carrier, what looks to be three, four light cruisers perhaps, and four destroyers. Right then, let's get that reported back and see if we can launch some attacks. Okay, this is the group of zeros, so let's get the carrier. Um, launch aircraft. Oh, we've only got three Kates. We need to get that replenished pretty soon. Otherwise, she's a bit... Um, uh, okay, we'll send them. And uh, see what we can do. I don't think any of these have got any airbases today. New. What about the airbase from Shortland Isles? So the air. Yeah, zeros. Okay. Um, Vals, I don't think they'll make it. They won't make it, so they might as well return to base, and that's it, pretty much. Right, so we do need an air, we definitely need an airfield built here, but um, we need to replenish that carrier as well, so we need that port done. And at 11.50, we sent uh, several flights of Zeros up to uh, escort those three, um, those three bombers in, and I think they've run into, there's the Kates, here's our Zeros, and yes, it looks like there's, um, some enemy aircraft coming in to try and shoot down the Kates, but let's see if our Zeros can do the business. There's a lot of them. There is a lot of them. Meanwhile, our Kates um, get low and get fast. That's one hell of a dogfight going on.
And at the end of that, well, our 17 aircraft against 24 of their fighters, we lost 8, they lost 3. Oh my goodness me. That may have bought time for our uh, bombers to find the target. And Zeros are going to continue to escort them. Our carrier is just coming under a little bit of um, attack now, so this could be a submarine. Let's put them into a uh, line formation, just in case it's a submarine, then we can uh, dodge some torpedoes. Okay, here's our group sailing through. What can we see? Uh, do you know what? Let's, let's take some evasive maneuvers. Assuming there's tor is that torpedoes coming in there. Could well be. Is it or is it? Could be something there. Let's get our carrier. You go that way. Break. Go that way. Right, I want you to head there. You to head there. Well, I think our carrier's in trouble. Right, rudder amidships. Rudder amid. Rudder amidships, and just blat it. I'll just try and outrun them. No, I think we're okay. Right. You. Oh. You're going to have to try and sail between them. Unless you go straight and you might be able to get past them. You need to go between them. Yeah, rudder right midships, you should be okay. Right, slow down. Need to go hunting. Uh, you are in a bit of a squeaky bum time. I don't think you're going to get away with it. You're dead. No, you're just alive. My goodness. You got lucky. And the others are away. Right. Right, head over here. Slow down and start listening. Contact! One submarine! Right. Slow down. Right, where's the... Sunny? Right, you're in good position. Target that. Go. Okay, she's going over. Depth charges. Fire. Next destroyer coming in. We didn't seem to get anything in that first pass. Okay, ready. Drop. Depth charge in the water. Oh, damage there. Only minor, d well, light damage to the nose. Is that she's still under power, so she's probably going to be going. okay. She's dropping down a bit. Having a look, she is dropping down to 200 feet. I think it's what? What's the damn boy? Is it? I could have a look. It's about 250, is it, or is it 300? Um, Tambor class. She can go down to 249. She's coming down to her test depth then. gonna break through her test depth which makes me think she's in trouble 
She's taking on water, so she met. Here she comes. She she must have blown ballast. She must have blown ballast, right? Let's um ease off the old power. We get ready to shoot her when she comes. We get this one as well. Target there. Get you to slow down as well. Coming up to 130 feet now. Kotaki, she's going to be the one in primary aim, I think. Oh, good hit straight away. Oh, she's having a shot with her deck gun. She's gone. I was going to say, she had a couple of shots and then uh, didn't think it would be worth um, getting the rest of the uh, destroyers aimed at her, but yeah, there she goes. Let's get the uh, damage prepared on this destroyer. And confirmation then, uh, that damage was repaired on the destroyer. Uh, no damage to the carrier, which is the main point, and the Tambo submarine sunk for 2,370 tons, and an extra command point gained. At 12.37, another action engaged, in, including the, uh, I think we've got more torpedoes there, right. Let's um, crank the speed up. And I am going to start turning the carrier that way. Meanwhile, Wakataki. Um, break, and I want to you to head that way. Another sub to go hunting, it would seem. Kurataki, same for you. Get your um, pinging going. Uh, I don't think she's going to make it, actually. Let's. Um, Just wanted to go flat out now. If she starts to turn, she may slow down a bit. I think she's okay though. I think she'll have just the speed to um, get away from them. See, the destroyers are hunting for that submarine. Alright, maybe if we can bring it around here slightly. There we go, we're out, we're out of danger of that sub, uh, torpedo. Slow it down a bit. There we go, we actually probably go right on midships there. We're safe. Meanwhile, let's get these slowing down so they can start to have a listen. All arriving on the scene pretty quick. Right, Kurataki's found him. Right. Wakataki, head that way. Kurataki, um, ready your depth charges. Head this way. Let's go. Right, we're going just over him now. Let's um, turn slightly. Depth charge in the water. Good damage, double damage to the stern. Her engines are packing up. That's probably her dad. I think she's dead in the water. Is she going to start sinking or is she going to emergency blow? I think she's sinking. Okay, she's emergency blown. Is that going to save her? We don't know. Okay, there she is. The destroyer should be firing about at her any time. Uh, 
And there she goes. We've got another blazing ship over here because they just choose not to uh, attack straight away, which is annoying. But another submarine sunk. Gato class this time. Let's get this repair done and uh, we'll leave combat. So there we are then. Minor damage to the Asagail. Asagail? Um, everything else okay. And we sunk another submarine for 2,410 tons. They obviously know where our carrier is now. Potentially we may need to look to move us somewhere else. Unfortunately, uh, we ran out of fuel and time to try and relocate that um, carrier group uh, of the enemy. So the uh, bombers are returning back to base. What I'm going to probably do is um, move the carrier back a little bit from the front line because we want to get um, this actually what I might do actually is bring her back here and get her replenished uh, I know that's going to leave us a little bit vulnerable here with only one submarine out here but um, she's not much good if she doesn't have any firepower quarter past four on the 12th resupply has made it back to home base so let's get some cargo on board let's get some supplies on that destroyer or that light cruiser sorry some uh, fuel on there engineering on there uh, we might as well take lots of supplies take some troops troops down as well and we're good right let's get resupply heading back to this port then get that into a level um, a level three port and get all our um, ships replenished and uh, and stuff like that we can probably keep the carrier bobbing around here then until that's done um, so she's not too far away um, okay we've still got the sub patrolling and almost a day later at uh, 319 not, nothing much has happened thank heavens uh, so let's unload all the cargo here we go and we'll get resupply back up to main base good so they can clear the way and then short lines let's um, boost the port up to a level three we'll get these guys rearmed excellent so those subs can come back into the fight let's send them down here maybe a bit further towards the American bases confirmation yes they're all reloaded and we'll bring the carrier group into here to rearm as well get some more ships uh, some more aircraft on board the ship at 735 we've got the carrier coming into the uh, area all ships rearmed there we go okay I'm starting to bring the carrier all the way back to home base because it wouldn't replenish the aircraft from um, from there so you can see it's only got three Kates and three zeros if I rearm from home base still any of that interesting why did the light carriers not get re um, issued new aircraft we've got a, we've got everything here we level 5 air base right so this isn't working um, what I'm going to try and do then I think it's bugged but I know there's been some uh, updates but that shouldn't let's release and repair that so we didn't get our six. I think that that bugged out, hasn't it? We've lost our carrier basically. Um, so that's pretty much us completely and utterly screwed over. Hmm. Oh no! There we go. Finally, we got it via the weekly one. So. We got more 250 fuel and engineering. Now let's get our carrier back. Should we get the uh, yeah let's get you. Rest and repair for another day. Have you got your sister ship? She's not available. Okay. We'll give that a wait then. Unless there's another one. 90. No we can't afford that. So we're going to have to give that another day. Meanwhile we'll get resupply um, down here. And we'll get those all locked up with nice juicy engineering and fuel. 
And um, here we go. So uh, we'll get some troops on there. Get some fuel on there. Get some engineering on there. Some engineering on there. Get some supplies in. Uh, get some supplies. Get some troops. Good. At 4.45 on the 14th, one of our spotter planes has reported something back. It's found a task group. And that task group appears to have a carrier. There's the carrier and the, yeah, the four cruisers and the four destroyers. Right, let's get that reported in. And um, we've got those submarines patrolling in this area. Let's see if we can go hunting for a aircraft carrier. Meantime, there's an encounter at Guadalcanal, a battleship, 10 ships, a convoy, so it's going to be, I don't know how they got past, unless they came in through the north, our, um, our patrol here, but it looks like we're going to take a bit of a strike against Guadalcanal now. And there we go, and um, troops have probably deployed on it, yeah. Alright, we got them coming back, fortunately they're coming straight for our sub. Meantime, we've been unable to locate the carrier group. Okay, let's have a look then. Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? Where are they? They're not against the land. There they are. We've got what looks to be a battleship, heavy cruiser. Cru uh, no, merchant ship, heavy cruiser, merchant, 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 destroyers at the back, right. Uh, I know the merchant ships are quite key to sink, however, um, we're presented with a battleship, that's going to be some tonnage which would be incredibly valuable to try and buy our own improved naval force. So, that's what we're going to target, the, where is she, there she Here, yeah. Sorry, it's just because there's two ships there. Um, the slanted back, diagonal back, that looks like a South Dakota class. So that is what we're going to target for the time being. All right, there he is. We've got about 60% um, solution. So we're going to probably go for the 2% spread. It will probably start to slow down there. 67%. Okay, torpedoes away. Let's um, make like the wind and let's go. Dive. Here comes the South Dakota class. Here comes the battleship, and you can see the torpedoes nearing their mark now. First one. Second one. Dud. Third one. Fourth one. Fifth. And the sixth torpedo has run on. Okay. Or did it hit? We just didn't hear. Right, that is fantastic. That is what we like to see. Lots of damage in a very concentrated area. Fires from stern to well, beyond midships at this point, behind turret B. Um, that, I think, is a strong candidate for sinking. Keep an eye on her now. With flooding and fires, that is going to probably put the crew under too much stress. And they are unlikely, he says, fingers crossed, going to be able to recover from this situation. Have we just claimed a battleship kill? Incredibly, it looks like the crew have managed to put out the fires and stop the flooding. We've got two destroyers coming for I-19 now, so she needs to probably disengage. But well, hopefully if we can get ahead of these guys, because this will be a slow-moving ship, they'll probably not have to tow this, or maybe it's going to be even scuttled, who knows. Um, we may be able to get a second attack at it, but for the moment, uh, it looks like uh, she's safe for the time being. 
Confirmation then. At the end of that, the South Dakota has critical damage and heavy flooding, but still survives to fight another day. Meantime, we've had no joy hunting for the carrier group. Uh, so we've got the subs to come up here. Maybe if they can cut off there. And we've got I-19 tracking down here. Oh, we've got... Oh, there they are, down there. That's the carrier, right. Subs, head straight for that. Why can't they do a straight line? really weird why they do that. Well, we'll head that down there. U-19, continue on that course just in case. Okay, there's the battleship going back to port. However, I've got both subs heading back. Um, to ch we've seen the carry there. She's got past the first two. Right. I-19, head down. At 319 on the 15th of August, one of our spotter planes is up and has found a task group. It is the carrier task group, although you can't see it through the mist. The good news is I-19 is here. They managed to sneak past the other two subs, but um, yeah, they're over here and I-19 is in potentially a good intercept position. Okay, there's the group. There is the cruisers and the carrier in the middle with a couple of destroyers, four destroyers as well. We've been targeting the carrier and bring up the information. We've got 95, 94% lock on her, so we go six torpedoes, probably a 1% spread. Fire. Okay, here we go. Torpedoes are nearing the outer wall of ships. They're here. I think they've just missed that destroyer, which is great. Which means we could get some plum shots on the carrier. Stand by. We didn't manage to get the battleship. Two hits. Three hits. Four hits. Five hits. Six hits. Oh, that is beautiful. She's out of commission. They're not going to be launching any aircraft anytime soon. And that is two thirds of the ship blackened by damage from relentless torpedo attacks. And the bow is already lifting. You can see the water line popping out of the water. The tail, the stern, is sinking. Come on, don't deny us a second victory. Oh, she's gone! We've got a carrier! Hallelujah. Right, these destroyers and cruisers are gonna go nuts, but the carrier has been claimed. Happy days, look at that. So Lexington class. Oh man. That is a sweet, sweet victory. Confirmation. I-19 claimed a wondrous prize. The Lexington. 36,200 tons. And five command points gained. Is that all? Oh, that seems harsh. But 36,000 tons added to the kitty. And that also means that they can't launch all those fighter aircraft in and around Guadalcanal, which have been uh, attacking our... Uh, our aircraft so that is a huge win for us and if we can get our carrier rebuilt or repaired and refitted and sent back into the fleet then we could potentially do some airstrikes on the rest of these cruisers right then so i-19 did brilliantly i am going to move you up there to see if they'll continue on i-19 how many subs you got uh torpedoes you got five torpedoes left right you pursue up there to see if they're heading that way we know the battleship group is going that way. 
At 20 past 5 that evening, it seems that group has turned around and they've come back into I-19's zone. She's periscope depth. Lights beginning to fade. Where is the where are they? Was that them? No. Nope. Apparently they're here. There they are. There they are. They're a bit of a distance away, but maybe we've got five torpedoes left. We could certainly have a shot of one of those carriers. Uh, sorry. One of those cruisers. If only they had another carrier there. That would be exciting. Um, but yeah, let's try and get a couple of shots of these light cruisers. Okay, we just had a spotter plane go over us, and they've just seen... or they've just been reported their position. So, um, we were targeting the Cleveland here. Let's put a spread on it. Fire. Torpedo's gone. Let's get out of dodge. There's uh, no way we can do the attack now. So once the fire torpedoes have cleared, they have. Dive, dive, dive. In confirmation, we were able to just about get out of there with our lives. Um, our torpedoes were not on target. They were just fired widely. And of course, they all changed um, course quite drastically. Uh, thanks to that bloody spotter plane. But never mind, I-19 is now out of torpedoes, so I'm going to send her back to um, port to get uh, resupplied. Right, so she can head back up here to get resupplied there. Um, we know they're coming back, so let's head the subs that way. And as the next day rolls along, it's 5am. Right, let's have a look. We need to get some more ships. We've got 138 command points now and uh, what can we buy we're gonna we were looking at how much is an actual carrier 120 we can buy a proper carrier now which will have 24 k bombers 24 val bombers 24 zeros I'm tempted to get an upgrade to a full carrier um, and then we'll be able to strike some more fear into it uh, into them should we do that or do we persist with our, our smaller carrier for only 60 and then we can get some ships as well let's 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 go with our let's go play it safe for the moment what's that they've got 24k bombers well, maybe we could upgrade to um, the Ryuju class so let's upgrade that's uh, 90 and that leaves us well um, 48 so we could probably get some heavy cruisers as well. Done. Uh, now we can merge that with some of the other ships. All right, let's get those merged with those destroyers. Look at that. That is quite a good group. But let's move that down here. Start voyaging some hell on the Americans. Let's get them into a circular formation with the carrier as number probably two. Oh, let's go number five. Should be safer there. So let's get those swapped out. And we've got the heavy cruiser at the back. Let's get her swapped out with that. Light cruiser seven and six is a destroyer as well. Okay, happy with that. Good. Right, they're moving. That's our command point spent, but we've got a nice, uh, well, a slightly bigger carrier now. And as, as you can see, it's got 24 kates rather than the 12 or the 18 it previous had, so that's quite good as well. Good, good, good. Right, we've got resupply one coming down here to Guadalcanal um, to drop some troops and some supplies off. Yes, it's looking a bit ropey now. I think we've got more oil and stuff than supplies and and troops, which is a bit worrying. Maybe we can ferry some troops from there over here. And we've got the um, subs here patrolling around this um, triangle of water here, trying to cover ships coming in from here and ships coming in from here to Guadalcanal. And at 25 past 5 on the 16th, I-19, the hero of the last couple of um, conflicts has been resupplied. Right, let's get her back in the fray. Uh, we'll send her straight down the middle here 
uh, because that is where the, the resupply is going. So that's grand. And we've got the carrier which is overtaking the resupply. That shows you how slow they're going. And I'll get them to um, sort of patrol around there so they can send aircraft in to assist. And at 10.37 on the 17th of August, um, we're down to 500 troops, to just under 1,800 or just over 1,800 supplies. Um, let's have a look at what resupply has made it to the area. Um, let's drop the troops off. Do we drop all the um, engineering and the... Uh, if we lose it, we'll lose the... Uh, Let's get the supplies dropped off. Oh my God. We've all these supplies, not many troops. Only another 500 troops we've dropped off. Mm. Right, let's let's do it. Let's drop. Let's be brave and drop the fuel and the engineering off. Okay, and then we'll set these guys' course for up here. We're we'll going to pick up some more troops. Meanwhile, in Guadalcanal. Um, let's build an airbase. Um, and do we wait? I'm going I'm to wait because we could potentially get a level two, which will give some di bow dive bombers here as well. Well, couldn't we? Which would be quite good. Cool. Right at midnight, resupply has made it to um, the Florida Islands. Managed some cargo. Let's get some troops on here. As many as we can. And we'll leave 800. That's probably. Ooh. Yeah, that'll probably do. That's a light force we've left there, but we've got to try and fight fires at the moment. And one hour 20 later, we're, we're back. Unload all cargo. There we go. We'll send them back to home port. Go and get some more, uh, more of the good stuff. And hopefully we can hold Guadalcanal and keep building. Here you go. There we go. We're actually um, in the dominance now. Three thousand three hundred and seventy troops. Obviously, we've only got we've got literally got one lot of supplies each, which is not good. You want double, really? I know, but we're just trying to put out the flames of rebellion on Guadalcanal and then try and stabilize the area. Meantime, the, the hero of I-19 is going to send her down to Renal, see if anything's going on there. Then, then I think you can do a patrol kind of round here. There we go, that'll do. And uh, we've got this one doing a patrol around there to stop any ships coming in, or at least we can try and intercept them. We've got the carrier group out here. Um, patrolling around obviously it's midnight so there's no aircraft being sent out um, but hopefully they're going to be okay um, and we're hopefully going to survive to put that fire out at 9.26 on the 19th one of our spotter planes is up and she's got contacts There's like three destroyers. Maybe they're hunting our submarines uh, as they've lost a carrier and almost lost a battleship in that area from submarine attack. It looks like they've responded. They're sending in three destroyers, which is a sensible move. Uh, I will not engage my U-boat with them because it's not worth it. We're looking for merchant shipping, which is any potential fuel and engineering and troops. Or the capital ships like carriers and cruisers and battleships. So we'll give them a wide berth. So as 926 rolls around on the 18th, the battle for Guadalcanal is back in our favour. We need to get some more supplies down here and the rest of the um, engineering stuff, and we'll get a a level two airfield which will give us some bomber support down here. Let's see, resupply is heading back up there. We've got the carrier doing its thing out there and the um, subs covering there and obviously this is where the three destroyers were spotted so they're kind of 
hunting out I-19, it would seem. Ah, but it's been a slow couple of days. I say, we've had a couple of big engagements with the battleship and the carrier, but between there, barely seen anything. Um, the enemy losses are beginning to mount. They've had some significant losses, like the Northampton heavy uh, cruiser, merchant ships, Pensacola heavy cruiser, South Dakota... South Dakota battleship put my teeth in last time out. We didn't get the sister ship today, unfortunately. Um, but we did get a Lexington carrier, which is just the ticket as well. Um, so they've lost two huge resources there. So um, that's pretty good. And what, how many heavy cruisers? One, two, three heavy cruisers and a light cruiser. Yeah, I can't argue with that. It's been um, quite good. So today, uh, we've only managed to account for two submarines and a carrier, but uh, I'm quite happy with our our efforts. And if we look at our losses, just last time out, we lost the uh, Type B submarine, but nothing, nothing to report in way of losses apart from a few aircraft today. Right. We're set up. Hopefully, we'll be getting that airbase built on Guadalcanal next time. So make sure to join me for that. And hopefully, we can try and establish a firm foothold in this area. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying it. Give us a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.